February 1st. Philippines reported the first death, the first death outside China. With sixth case, Vietnamese Prime Minister signed an epidemic declaration and ordered to closure three border gates and revoke some flights to China. On the same day, Australia recommended do not travel to all of mainland China, and India banned the export of N95 masks with immediate effect. February 2nd, Inside China While the COVID-19 disease outbreaks in human, an animal outbreak of the deadly H5N1 bird flu in Hunan, make China called for culling 18,000 chickens. Outside China Multiple countries banned the flights and foreigners were arrived China. February 3rd. China launches a clinical trial of Gilead's antiviral drug Remdesivir, previously tested in patients with Ebola. And the temporary 1,000-bed hospital Hua Shenzhen starts operations, it was built in 10 days. February 4th. Belgium reports its first case. The patient was one of the nine people repatriated from Wuhan over the weekend. On the same day, Princess Cruz's confirmed quarantine of the Diamond Princess, carrying about 3,700 people after one of its passengers tested positive in a Hong Kong hospital, and at least 20 more infected by the ship's return to Japan. February 5th. The Wuhan Institute of Virology applied for a patent of Remdesivir drug, which being developed by Gilead Sciences. Seeking a patent instead of a compulsory license option does demonstrate some sensitivity on China's part toward honoring Gilead's intellectual property rights. Gilead is working with China on phase 3 clinical trials there. February 6. Prime Minister of Japan stated that the 2020 Summer Olympics would not be postponed. On the same day, multiple airlines, Virgin, KLM, Air France, American Airlines and Iberia, extended their current flight suspensions till sometime in March. February 7. Lee Wenliam died at 33-year-old, the doctor who was one of the first to warn of the disease. The Lee's death has shaken China like an earthquake, Within an hour the trending topic, Wuhan government owes Dr. Li Wenliam an apology, on the WIPO was censored. February 8. Li Xinxian, the second temporary 1,600-bed hospital begins operation, it was completed in 12 days. At the end of the day, the global death toll for the COVID-19 stands at 813, overtaking the SARS epidemic in 2002-2003, that claimed 774 lives. February 9th. Israel has advised travelers to delay travel to countries and territories hit by the coronavirus. In the mention are Singapore, Thailand, South Korea, Japan, Taiwan, Macau and Hong Kong. February 10th. Business has now resumed in all 30 mainland province-level divisions, apart from Hubei province. And President Xi Jinping appeared in public for the first time since the epidemic began, visiting a hospital in Beijing and urging confidence in the battle against the virus. February 11. The WHO has officially named the disease caused by the novel coronavirus as COVID-19. On the same day, Shenzhen University in China announced the successful development of a new coronavirus antibody detection kit, capable of obtaining a result in 22 minutes. February 12th. In China. More than 15,000 new cases at the end of the day, a big jump because China changed the criteria for diagnosing, that including clinically diagnosed cases. On the same day, U.S. CDC announces that a diagnostic kit it developed does not work. This kit was made available to certified laboratories in the United States, besides being shared with more than 30 countries. Due to a possible problem with one of the regions some results could be made inconclusive. February 13. Japan Health Minister Katsuno Bukato confirmed the first COVID-19 death in the country, a woman in her 80s, whose infection was reported to have been confirmed after death. February 14. Egypt confirmed its first case, a foreigner of undisclosed nationality. This was the first case on the African continent. 
In China, a new test kit was developed by a team led by Zhang Nanshan, able to yield a result in 15 minutes with a very high sensitivity, and expected to raise the positive detection rate. February 15. France reports the first death, the first death in Europe, an 80-year-old tourist from Hubei province. February 16. China imposed a lockdown full Hubei province, puts 58 million people under hard quarantine. No outsiders are to be allowed in, and each household is allowed one person every three days to go out for provisions, and urgent agricultural material, on designated routes and in limited time. All non-essential public spaces in Hubei are to be closed and all gatherings forbidden. February 17. China publishes a paper with detailed information on more than 44,000 confirmed cases. The data shows that more than 80% of patients have mild disease. About 14% of cases lead to severe diseases, including pneumonia. About 5% of cases lead to critical diseases including respiratory failure, septic shock and multi-organ failure. And about 2% of reported cases lead to death. Mortality rates increase in older patients, with few cases among children. February 18. Countries work to evacuate their citizens from the Diamond Princess cruise ship, which is quarantined in Japan, as the number of COVID-19 cases on the ship has reached 542, of the 2,404 people tested. February 19. Iran confirmed its first two cases. Later that day, the Ministry of Health and Medical Education stated that both had died. February 20th. South Korea reported the first death. And at the end of the day, South Korea sees a spike in cases, bringing the country now has the second highest number of cases in ranking. February 21st. The virus reaches two more countries, Israel, a woman who arrived from Iran, and Lebanon, a person who had been quarantined on the Diamond Princess cruise ship. On the same day, Italy reported the first death, a 78-year-old man. February 22nd. WHO conducts a survey of African countries to assess their overall readiness for COVID-19 and finds the regional readiness level is at about 66%. February 23rd. Turkey and Pakistan shut down its border with Iran, and banned all incoming flights as a precaution for stopping the spread of disease, after Iran had reported 43 cases and 8 deaths. On the same day, Afghanistan, Georgia, and Kuwait imposes restrictions on air flights and ships from Iran. February 24. The virus reaches five more countries, Bahrain, Kuwait, Afghanistan, Iraq and Oman. On the same day, six countries have since banned travelers from South Korea from entering their countries. They include Israel, Bahrain, Jordan, Kiribati, Samoa and American Samoa. Nine others have since placed restrictions. February 25th. The virus reaches five more countries, Croatia, Austria, Switzerland, Algeria and Brazil. February 26. The virus reaches six more countries, Greece, Pakistan, North Macedonia, Georgia, Norway and Romania. And at the end of the day, for the first time, the number of new cases outside China had exceeded the number of new cases in China, after a spike of cases in Italy, Iran and South Korea with cases in China dropping. February 27. Five more countries reported their first case. Denmark, Estonia, Netherlands, Nigeria and San Marino. On the same day, Director General of the WHO has said eight countries, including Vietnam, Belgium, Cambodia, India, Nepal, Philippines, Russia and Sri Lanka have not recorded new cases in more than two weeks. February 28. The virus reaches seven more countries, Azerbaijan, Belarus, Iceland, Lithuania, Mexico, Monaco and New Zealand. 
On the same day, WHO raises the global risk of spread of COVID-19 from high to very high, but it is not yet time to declare a pandemic. February 29. Four more countries reported their first case. Ecuador, Ireland, Luxembourg and Qatar. On the same day, United States report the first death. 